This is Charles Schutt, Washington correspondent for the Screen News Digest. We will be bringing you from time to time a series of exclusive interviews with leading personalities of the day. Today you will meet Dr. Frank Sparks, President of the Council for Financial Aid to Education, who has just returned from a tour of colleges and universities in the Soviet Union. Dr. Sparks, what was your most striking observation on your recent trip to Russia? The use that Russia is making of her formal education system to accomplish the purpose of her political leaders. A lot of educators have told us that this country's education system is secondary to that of the Soviet Union. Are we as bad off as some say we are? I think it's, un I think it's uh, nothing much is accomplished by trying to compare the two systems. What Russia is doing with her formal educational system is to advance the ends of Russian society. And in that regard, they are probably doing a more effective job than we are in advancing the ends of our society. But they're not trying to reach the same goals as we, and I certainly hope we never try to reach the same goals as they. Dr. Sparks, what about the role of women in Soviet education? I think there's a general impression in America that women in Russia are the sweethearts of the society. I saw nothing to support that. It's true that there are more women in medicine than men. There are more women in uh, higher education than men. There are more women engineers than men. But the fact of the matter is, there are more women in the total society than there are men. There are more women sweeping streets and working as construction workers and working on the farm and working in the parks than there are men. What is the overall length of the education that's available to the common man in terms of years over there, Dr. Sparks? There are seven years of schooling available to all youngsters in Russia, and 10 years in most of the urban centers. That is true, or that was true, when we were there. Khrushchev has recently made a pronouncement favoring the shortening of the 10-year school with some working experience at the end of the eighth, uh, eighth uh, year, which is typical of what takes place in Russia. Khrushchev wants to change the system, he changes the system. Dr. Sparks, do you have any suggestions how we might alter or add to our own program here in America? Go on perfecting the system that we now have. Give every youngster the maximum opportunity to develop his own competency. Give him all the assistance that you can at home and in the classroom to make an early determination of his own competency, his own ability, and then keep challenging it all the way through. But leave him free to act. Do you think that the Russian students, Dr. Sparks, have a greater interest in their education than our youngsters do? I think they take it more seriously because their personal opportunities are more intimately geared with what they do in education than are ours. Well, thank you, Dr. Sparks, for these facts about your trip to Russia. And students, this is the first of many guests that we hope to bring personalities of the day to you on camera close-up.